It's a Wednesday morning. It's 10 past seven, just about way for Nuba. I'm off to climb a volcano. Good morning, and I'm Stu, the older backpacker, and Santa Ana Volcano is just over there. We're just waiting for Uber to get here, and it's climbing time. So I've just arrived at uh, centre of town, and this is where you get the bus to the volcano. Now Santa Ana Volcano is 2,381 metres above sea level. It should only take an hour and a half, maximum two hours, depending on fitness level. But I've not done anything for a while, so this is going to be a bit of a hard one for me. Let's do it. And here I am. The bus journey was two hours long to get here. And it's cost us $3 to get a guide, even though we didn't want one. And now I'm just following everybody else. So this is the entrance and the queuing up and it's six dollars to get in and this is the start of where we start climbing from. This is only the start. So why am I doing this hike? Santa Ana Volcano is the highest volcano in El Salvador. So we've got to do it. And I found from the group that has all come down here, it's various ages, various fitness levels. So we're trying to, I think, do it as a group, but we've all started splintering off already. So I'm halfway up and the trek is quite easy even though I'm sweating. And this is where the trek starts getting a bit more difficult and even stones out of breath and I've got a little guy behind me making sure I follow the right path and I've still got a long way to go and the path is starting to get more difficult still that far to go The top is getting closer. We might have to take the hat off. I am sweating. It's warm. I'm out of breath, but I'm going. I reckon another 20 minutes. Easy. I am so close to the top of this volcano. And this is it. It's the top and it is beautiful.
So, the top of the volcano, you've got the crater, which has got the lake in the middle, which is amazing. And then behind me here is more volcanoes, more mountains, and it's just, if it wasn't for that mist, it'd be perfect. But it's taken us an hour and a half to get up here. I've had something to eat, I've had something to drink, and now I'm ready to go back down. The bus is gonna be in one hour's time. So it's an hour to get back down. Will I make it? I need to make move now. I was only up there for about 10, 15 minutes, taking the views, taking the lagoon. And the reason I'm going for the one o'clock bus is because the next bus after that is at half past four. And there's only so much of hanging around for three and a half hours while I wait for the next bus. Um, and there's only so many podcasts I can listen to while I'm climbing down very slowly. And currently I'm listening to newscast with Adam Fleming. So at the moment I've got half an hour left to get down to the bottom to the bus. And as you can see by the path and the treks, not really that bad compared to some of the places I've been to in the last couple of months going downwards. Get to the bus. So I've made it and I'm knackered. Ready to go back on the bus. Obviously it's Central American time so they say one o'clock. It could be ten past, it could be quarter past. If you are going to come here and climb Santa and a Volcano bit of advice is whenever they say pay for a tour guide don't just walk past them go straight on that's three dollars that i'm not going to get back the it's not compulsory we found out as we climbed up the climb is not difficult it's quite easy i just barely broke well, i did break into a sweat but if i can do it anyone can so i'm back I've been showered, I've been changed, and the only thing about the return journey was the bus wasn't at one o'clock, it came about half past one, like I said, Central American time. But it was an enjoyable experience and an easy-ish one. So, if you like this video, you know you got to press the like button. If you want to subscribe and see what else I get up to in El Salvador, press the subscribe button and click that bell in the corner to find out when the next video will be out but until next time bye bye